Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to do a quick video on one of my processes uh, that I do for my jewelry, uh, specifically dipped jewelry, no skins. Um, some people have been asking and um, when I, on Facebook and different groups and unfortunately when I start to type, I go into a novel. So I kind of type as I write. So I thought I'm gonna try and do a real quick video and hopefully it'll all work out. But, so I'm just gonna get started. So this is my project. These are copper 18 by 13 millimeter trays. And um, here are the little glass 18 by 13 cabs and they are little. So the detail has to be pretty pronounced. So usually this is how I start. I put down some white and I use literally white house paint, nothing special. So there's that. Then this one I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna try and do some colors that I think might go with um, these copper pieces. So there's some black. I think that one, actually that one is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Paint. And I'm going to do some gold and I'm pretty sure that this gold is Craft Smart. Nothing expensive, nothing extravagant. Um, when it comes to my jewelry, I don't necessarily buy the best paint for my jewelry, as opposed to like if I was doing a, an actual pour. So, and then this one um, is a bronze. So then we're gonna just add a little bit more white right there. And then I do for my jewelry, um, I do like to do the cell activator from the Shelley Bloom technique. And basically um, that's about it. That's part of the bloom. Um, everything I have done, I've mixed with just straight flow trawl. If it's a little too thick, I might mix a little bit of water. But again, with my jewelry, I don't go too crazy um, with the techniques, but I do like how the cell activator turns out. So this cell activator is the Australian flow trawl, little bitty bottle there, and Amsterdam titanium white. And that I got from Amazon. So the flow trawl I did get from a distributor. I think she's in Texas. I can't quite remember who she, her name. So, but here this is, I'm just gonna put a little bit. I probably put more than I need to, but I put a bunch on the top. Then I let it kind of settle and sink in. Um, and while that's doing that, I don't think there's anything else that I can mention. Um, nothing, again, nothing fancy reusing popsicle sticks i do make sure that the part that i'm using in the paint is smooth is fairly clean as opposed to like this particular edge that's got a lot of paint on it um but otherwise okay so now you're gonna see my head sorry so there's gonna be a few cells then what i will do is i will take and of course i wasn't prepared Oh, I actually did clean the glass cabochons with isopropyl alcohol in preparation. Oh, and I forgot to mention, for the um, cabochons, I just take the poster sticky stuff and I literally just, I put it, um, you know, stick it right to the domed part of the cab. And then I just created the little handle and that's what I use. I know some people use like chopsticks and styrofoam. I never, I'm too impatient. I'm not, um, I just need it done. I don't know why, but I just do it this way. So then again, once that's kind of settled for a moment, you know, I might find that there are some cells and I might just dip into that or I will just do some swirls. It all kind of varies. And then I just kind of keep playing with it until I find a design that I like. Um, and then there's many times I don't like something and I will keep pouring right over it. So, and I'm not seeing anything here that I like, but just literally for presentation purposes, I'm just gonna show you how I do this. So if I find a spot that I like, I'm gonna take this little cab and I'm going to dunk it. I would really love to have one that I like here. I'm gonna try this one. So I'm just gonna dunk it right in the paint. Not too deep, just enough to get it covered and then your back is gonna look just like a little swoosh. A lot of times, like the larger 25 millimeter cabs, I will like swirl around so you can kind of get a really cool design, but I go trayless in my 
in majority of my 25 millimeter pendants. So I do like the backs to be kind of pretty. In this case, because I have a tray, I'm really not too concerned about how the back looks. So, but then all I do is I just run my finger and most of the time, and normally I wear gloves. So, um, you know, that this I do not recommend doing, but I just, without gloves. So I just run it right around so the edges are clean. And then I take and I pull off the little sticky thing and then there's the cabochon. And then there's that, pop that off my finger. And I think I'm just gonna, again, for presentation purposes, let's just do a little bit more. And, but this time I think I'm gonna add a color. Still sticking with these metallics because I just think that they go so nicely with the copper. And then this is actually Liquitex, make sure I get this right, Liquitex Professional Soft Body Acrylic. I was in a Blix two years ago in New York City and I'd never been in a Blix. I don't, I'm in Vermont, I don't have anything near me. So when I was in New, visiting New York City for work and I knew I could get to a Blix, I kind of went crazy and bought a bunch of these little guys and they were great. So I only have probably like that much paint in it and then I just fill the rest of it with Floetrol. So it saves adding to another container and I can utilize the bottle itself, just needs a little bit of a shake. And then we're just gonna pour that like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more white. Again, you still want a little bit of definition in your design. So we're gonna do that. And you know what, this time I think I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna just do a little bit of this, just to put the cell activator on top of the white and on top of the color. We're gonna do that. And in some others that I recently did, I did a lighter purple. Oh, this was um, Dioxidine, I can't remember the purple. It's the DIOX one, so but it's all covered in paint, so I can't tell for the life of me. Um, but usually I like going for a lighter in these, just again for a little bit more pop. So let that cell activator uh, sink a little bit. And I don't think I said, the cell activator I'm using is indeed the Australian Floetrol, three parts of that to one part of the Amsterdam Titanium White. Next time I'm gonna try four parts Floetrol, one part paint, um, just to try and get a little bit more cell activation, but we'll see. So this is three to one. So again, just blow a little bit there. It doesn't always work depending on, I don't know if it's the paint, my thickness, it was a little thick, um, but again, I don't see anything there that I like. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. See if anything pops out. Still not really happy. So we're just gonna, again, just kind of play a little bit. That's the nice part with the glass cabochons. If you don't like the design, you just dunk it in some water, clean it off and do it again. And I'm using my Lazy Susan here just to try and get it off the table a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna try this. We're just gonna do, I really wanna get more of the metallics in there, but I'm not gonna do very well with that. All right, again, presentation purposes. We're just gonna dunk and you just dip it in. You want the paint, the cap to just touch the paint. You're not so, you know, you're not sinking it right into the paint. So then again, you got a little bit, you just do that. So then just run your finger along, wipe it off the edge, grab it, peel the sticky stuff off, and there's your design. Pop it over there and see what else we can find here. This one's not quite working for me, but of course not because it's on camera, so it doesn't want to cooperate. So we're just gonna do, let's do this one. that little guy off and there's that they're not looking too bad but you can always tell in your paint you know what's what looks good and what doesn't so all right so I'm gonna try something different because that purple's just not 
working for me. That. And a bit of black. Probably too much black. I actually cleaned up. I had a huge disaster. I don't know. I've got like 10, at least 10 feet of workspace just on this particular. I've got two tables butted up against each other and they were full, just full of stuff. So I finally got some things cleaned up. Like I said, I wanted to do a little video. So again, I just put down the gold, the bronze, the black, the white, uh, the cell activator, gonna let it sink. And I have one more cab that's ready. Um, the others haven't been cleaned, so. There's that. Let that settle for a moment. And even once this video is done, I'll still kind of play with this because there's still quite a bit of paint. So you can still kind of play around, whether it's with more colors, with these colors, because even some of this is really kind of cool. So again, you just want detail. Um, definition is, is really key. And my swirling, it just depends on what I'm feeling. I don't necessarily have any rhyme or reason as to why I swirl one way or if I do any at all. So I just do that. And this is my favorite little spatula. I think it has blue, I don't know what it has, but it's really cute. Okay, so let's do, again, going for some detail, because if you kind of go in where there's, um, there's cells, but there's not a lot of um, definition between the cells and the colors. So again, going for some definition. So we're just gonna go here. And you kind of wanna like, change it up a little bit. So you don't want all of this gold to be like the prominent part. And of course, this is such a little tiny cab that, you know, again, you wanna just go for like the, the lines. And we dunk it, I dunked it a little too heavy. So because of that, I just wanna kinda like do that. Like that. And then that, actually still not bad, huh? Usually you can tell right away if there's a de design that's really cool or not. So, all right, so let me see if I can try and show these to you. Normally I can pick them back up. So there's one, I don't know if you can see it. And there's me, that's just me. That's probably gonna get redone. That's not that great. And it's funny, cause I'm not even a purple person, but some of these look so good. So then there's that one. Again, hopefully you can see these. And then there's that one, so, but, all right, so there's that. Normally what I do if I do a video, I try and paint, pour, whatever, do my cabs, and then like the next day I try and um, put them at the, the dried pieces at the end of the video so you can see the finished results, but I'm probably a little too antsy for that. And another thing you can do too that's kind of fun is just take your paint and just try and like fold it and sometimes you can get some really cool designs. And I've gotten some really nice cabochons from that. So like, there's a kind of a cool one. So we're just gonna grab one real quick. We're gonna clean it off and do this. It's not always the best thing to do, cleaning them off necessarily with the sticky stuff, but you never know. Okay, so then we're just going to dip in that little spot right. Um, we're gonna go here, because I want a little purple. And you don't want your paints too thin, because what'll happen is they're gonna just kind of blend and mush around with each other. Um, as opposed to like detail. You know, you don't want them too thick, but the thicker they are, the more detail will be retained. So, oh, that's kind of pretty. Okay. So again, just kind of play around, see what you can get, kind of cool. So, but that's the technique that I use. Literally not a ton of, you know, no expensive paints. I think the most expensive was this Liquitex and I grabbed it because it was purple and I wanted to use purple. 
Um, my cell activator, like I said, is probably the most expensive and the most thought out part um, between the Australian Floetrol and the Amsterdam paint. And that's it. The rest of the paints mixed with float, regular US Floetrol and water. And I think that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and I don't think it's as quick as I was hoping for. So um, anyhow, um, have a great weekend. Bye.